Hello, my name is Dr. Arpit Mahajan. The paper presentation title is Color Doppler Sonographic Evaluation of Women with Polycystic Ovarian Disease and Compare with Normal Women with Normal Ovaries. Aim of the study to assess the ovarian stromal blood flow pattern in women with PCOS and compare with normal ovulatory women using color Doppler analysis. Introduction polycystic ovarian syndrome is the most common cause of anovulatory infertility, accounting for more than 70% cases. Because 16 to 25% of the normal population has polycystic appearing ovaries on ultrasound, the presence of polycystic ovaries was considered to be suggestive but not diagnostic of PCOS. However, the Rotterdam PCOS consensus workshop group requires the existence of two of the following three criteria to make the diagnosis of PCOS. First, oligo ovulation or anovulation. Second is the clinical or biochemical signs of hyperandrogenism. Third is the PCOS on ultrasonography. The intraovarian vasculitis in cases of PCOS is localized mainly within the hyperecogenic ovarian stroma. Waveform obtained from ovarian tissue showed a mean resistance index of 0.54 without cyclical changes between the subsequent examination. Therefore, high resistance to flow and its maintained value with no cyclical changes in an established characteristic of an anovulatory cycles. Color Doppler studies have shown that in patients with PCOS, important changes in ovarian vasculature occur at the level of intraovarian arteries. Although intraovarian vascularization is usually not seen before day 8 to 10 of the 28 day cycles. Method in this cross sectional study, we took 110 patients from the OPD of the OPS Gaini department from Hind Institute of Medical Sciences, Safedabad, Barabanki, Uttar Pradesh. When patients come from ultrasonography, we look for the ovarian stroma, ovarian volume, and number of the follicle. If number of follicle more than 10, ovarian volume more than 10 cc and echogenic stroma, then we took the Doppler parameter. If, uh, now we have the peak systolic velocity and diastolic velocity, pulsatility index and resistance index. If peak systolic velocity more than 10, it may go towards the PCOS. If less than 10, it may normal. If end diastolic velocity goes more than 8, it may to go towards the PCOS. When less than 8, it may be normal. If pulsatility index is more than 2, it may go towards the normal ovary. If less than 2, it may go towards the PCOS ovary. If resistive index is more than 0 0.6, it may go towards the normal ovary. If less than 6, 0, it may go towards the PCOS ovary. Now, result the mean age in my study uh, for PCOS woman is 25 plus minus 5.8 and men burden between the 15 to 30 year of the age group. The BMI, the BMI of the PCOS patient in my study is, uh, out, uh, is more than 25 in uh, 33 PCOS women out of 55. Whereas uh, for normal one, it, it, it is between 18.5 to 24.9. The volume of the ovary, uh, PCOS patient uh, of the ovary is more than 10 in 54 women out of 55 where is normal one it is less than 10 the number of follicle in pcs woman is more than 10 in 54 patient out of 55 and there is uh, echogenic stroma in the uh, ovaries of the pcs patient as compared to the normal woman peak systolic velocity if we do the cutoff value of 10 then 52 patient out of 55 having the velocity of more than 10 and if we take the cutoff value of 20 then 44 patient out of 55 in PCOS woman have more than 20 centimeter per second velocity. In 20 centimeter per second, the specificity is 85.45 and it increased to 98% if we took the cutoff of 30 centimeter per second. But sensitivity drops to 19%. Similarly, end diastolic velocity uh, in PCOS woman is more than 10. Whereas in normal one is less, is less than 10. And if we do the cutoff of 8 centimeter per second, then it is the best compromise between the sensitivity and specificity. In this case, sensitivity is 90% and specificity is also 90%. That is in PCOS woman, end acidosity is more than 8. Whereas in no, uh, normal one, it is less than 8. Resistive index of PCOS women is generally less than 0.6, whereas in normal women it is more than 0.6. Similarly, pulsatility index in PCOS women is less than 2, that is decreased as compared to the normal one in which there is pulsatory increase in pulsatory index that is more than 2. As the systolic diastolic ratio in PCOS women is less than 3, whereas normal one is more than 3. Discussion color Doppler ultrasound is a non-invasive assessment of the blood flow. Different studies show conflict in the value of the average resistive index and pulsatory index of ovarian artery in diagnosis of PCOS. The mean age in our study is 25 plus minus uh, 5.9. The mean burden of the 
एज ग्रुप बिटवीन फिफ्टीन थर्टी ईयर ओबेस वुमेन आर मोर लाइकली टू मैनेज इन एन एन ओबिलिटी इन फर्टिलिटी देन नॉर्मल वेट वुमेन इन रिप्रोडक्टिव एज वुमेन रिलेटिव रिस्क ऑफ एन ओबिलिटी इन फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज एट बी एम एफ ट्वेंटी फोर के जी पर स्क्वेयर मीटर एंड कंटिन्यू राइज विन इंक्रीज बी एम आई द मीन बी एम आई ऑफ पी सी एस वुमेन इन माइ स्टेट ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर एंड फॉर नॉर्मल इट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर number of follicle varying in sizes in pcos however different study have different value for minimum number of follicle in my study the mean number of follicle in pcos woman was 14.7 plus minus 2 in normal one it was 4.8 plus minus 2 in previous study then the mean number of follicle were 13 uh, plus minus 4 whereas in normal one it is 5 plus minus 2 uh, increase in echogeny uh, stromal echogenicity in pcos due to the combination of raised stromal Uh, ovarian volume and the significantly lower mean echogenicity of the entire ovary in this woman and in my study the echogenic stroma was seen in 54 out of 55 patients of pcos ovarian volume increase in ovarian volume is an essential criteria for pcos according to previous studies in the criteria fulfillment sufficiently specificity and sensitivity to define pcos have at least one of the following either 12 or more follicle measuring 2 to 9 mm diameter or increased ovarian volume in our study all patient have more than 10 volume As, uh, it was one it was one of the inclusion uh, criteria but only four uh, of normal patient have volume above the maximum bulk of the patient were in between 10 to 19 cc in my study mean ovarian volume of pcos woman was 17 plus minus 4 whereas for normal one it is it was 7 plus minus 1.9 uh peak systolic velocity ovarian vessels are involved and dilated in patient with pcos and result in increased vascularity and has increased psv in my study average psv of pcos one was 24 plus minus 6 and for normal one it was 15 plus minus 5 that is there is increase in stromal vascularity reduced to pi and ri in pcos one endosteliac velocity since the vascularity of ovaries increased in pcos there is increased in endosteliac velocity out of proportion to peak systolic velocity which result in decrease in resistive index pulsatile index and systolic diastolic ratio in my study endosteliac velocity of pcos one was 11 plus minus 2 and normal woman 5 plus minus 2 sensitivity was 54% and specificity 98% if criteria of velocity more than 10 then setting the threshold more than it the best sensitivity 90 and specificity is also 90 the impedance in the blood flow of the ovarian artery was significantly lower in patient with pcos that is ovarian ri resistance index was significantly lower in pcos group in my study resistance index is significantly lower that is 0.52 than in normal woman setting the cut off 0.6 the best sensitivity 83% specificity 92% In the study, the pulsatility index of the ovarian stromal artery is significantly lower, 1.35 plus minus 0.5 in PCOS woman, 4 plus minus 0.8 in normal woman. That is the blood flow in ovarian stromal artery higher in patient with PCOS as compared with the normal woman. The low pulsatility index will indicate that the ovarian vessels are probably dilated and engorged more abundantly in the ovary of woman with PCOS. Sensitivity of PI less than 2 is diagnosis of PCOS was 89 percent, and specificity was 98 percent. If cutoff value was second to less than one, then sensitivity was used to 60 percent, and specificity is 98.21 percent. And then SD ratio there is significant decrease in SD ratio in PCOS woman as compared to normal one. In my study, SD ratio of PCOS woman is less than 380 percent of PCOS woman. Overall best indicator is pulsatility index followed by the end diastolic velocity. Hence, the combination of above two indicator will help in the diagnosis. Hemodynamic alteration in PCOS in early stages and with more precision than grayscale alone. These are my references. Thank you.